Hey everybody. So, um, I actually have a whole bunch of videos that I have made and I have not uploaded or finished editing any of them. I just, I don't know, I'm unmotivated at the moment, but I am going to release this one because I really, I'm really, really impressed by these contacts as always. And so I just wanted to talk a little bit about that first. I mentioned this in one of the other videos that I've not released yet. Um, I am going to be coming out with a Q&A video and I have already got questions on my YouTube and on, <clears throat> sorry, on my Facebook and on my Instagram. So anybody here who has anything that you might want to ask me, just let me know and I will answer anything. I don't care how good or bad it is. Just whatever you want to know, ask me and I will answer or at least acknowledge or say something about it. Um, and when I have enough questions, I will make and release that video. So this is a, a color CL video as the title will say. And it has been a while since I have reviewed color CL because, um, because due to the pandemic, they actually haven't come out with any new lenses. Um, because they take a lot of care and work into, their design and their ideas and um they put out a great quality product and so they don't just throw it out there and right now they're just wanting to make sure everything's i guess you know going okay before they start coming out with new lines but they're working on it they're brainstorming and um, i'm really excited to see what they have coming up whenever they decide to release anything um so what i did was i i was hoping to have this video out before halloween but my dumb butt didn't think about getting the lenses until like the day before Halloween. So now it is after Halloween, but I mean, I have a little bit of a mix of natural and cosmetic or not cosmetic on like costume lenses. So there's a variation. You can always wear costume lenses if you're gothy or alternative or just really weird and you can wear the natural lenses on a daily basis. So, I mean, it doesn't really hurt to share them regardless. Um, as always, I start with a pair that I love the most and I, I was telling Josh this, but it's like every time I go through the site and I think I've tried everything I could possibly want to try. And then I go back and I'm like, well, I haven't tried this. I'm just going to give it a shot. I don't expect much. And it always ends up surprising me. I mean, I I've reviewed for a handful of contact lens companies and color CL has always been the top. They have always had the best quality, the best feel, um, the coverage, just it, this, this set here, even though I try to get a lot of costume lenses, the ones that aren't like these just re reminds me of why I love color CL so much. And I mean, these are beautiful, beautiful lenses. And I was floored by the ones that I had overlooked on all my other reviews. I'm like, how, how did I overlook these? Why did I overlook these? So, um, I'm going to start off with my favorite ones and then I'm going to go from my least favorite back to my favorite again. Um, so these are the black romance line, which as you guys know, black romance is that and Sahara are my two favorite lines that color CL puts out. Um, the black romance looks more natural. The, uh, um, Sahara is a, a bit more enlarging. These, if you guys think back to my first videos, um, my ultimate favorite lens from color CL is the Mandarin. Mandarin is this beautiful gray green color with a bright orange limbal ring, which is really unique, really striking. And I love those lenses to death. These are a more natural version of those. These are black romance Brown, but they don't look brown as much as they look kind of like a honey green color and they are set up exactly like the other ones. They've got the beautiful green gray inner and, but they've got a brown ring instead of the orange ring. So this is them up close back that off now. Okay. So there you can see that is the prettiest, prettiest color and outside is just a brown. I love these lenses so much. If I had known, that these were this beautiful, I would have, I would have picked these up last year or whenever I first started. I, I can't believe how much I love these lenses. Um, 
So yeah, these are the Black Romance Brown. These are the Crystal Edition Hollow Amber. And I decided to try these. I had, you know, I, I've mentioned before, I've stayed away from browns because my eyes are brown and I don't want brown eyes. But um, I decided to delve into it and try something different. And so I tried the last brown, which I love, and these browns, which I like. Um, with the light shining on me, they show up more than they do if I'm just in a normal room. These are slightly enlarging and they're definitely lightening. So they look really natural. Like you would, you could think that these are my natural eyes. They're like a beautiful chocolate creamy brown. Oh, and I'm, as always, I show the lenses in the case and I tried on one of each um, when I first got the package so that I know which order I want to try them on in, as I always do. And you will notice in the case, there's little black flecks floating around. That's just when I pull them out, I had mascara falling into my eye and I clean my lenses before I put them on again. I took them off. I just, I was in a hurry. I showed them. So if you see, when you see black stuff floating around in my contact lens case, it's just my mascara. I apologize. I didn't have time to redo it. And I'm too lazy to redo it now. So <laughs> I might not even upload those clips. So if they're missing and you're like, what? I just decide not to upload it and just not even deal with it. Um, because they look the same in the case as they do in the packaging pretty much. So I always try to let you guys see what they look like naturally on different backgrounds. So you can see what the actual lens looks like before it's on somebody's eye. So to show you um, the enlarging, I'm going to just take one off so you can see it compared to my natural eye. And so that's the difference. So this is my natural eye and this is the contact. So it is enlarging and it is natural looking, but it's definitely an improvement. I've got tiny little gross eyes, but I, I like the way this makes my eye look a lot better. Some weird ones for you here. This is called Spider-Man and this is so strange looking. I really wanted to um, try these out because I think these would go great with the whole spider theme and if you want to do spidery costumes or spidery makeup um, they've got a little spider web design on them but I feel like you kind of from a distance can't tell too much what they are. They just kind of look like white lenses with something black. And um, Josh from a distance said it looks like uh, a white sun and it kind of looks like that, but they're still cool looking. And I think if you do photos and you do photos up close, you'll obviously be able to tell that it's a web. Really weird. These are called Black Star. <laughs> and I had seen these, I've seen them on the site for a while, and I didn't want to try them because the video of the people who were reviewing them, they're not alternative or goth or anything. They're just normal people. So when they put these on, they looked really weird. Like weirder than weird. They looked just abnormal. And I was like, that's ugly. And I'm not saying they're pretty, but they're kind of cool. And you could do a lot of makeup looks with this. They kind of remind me of goat eyes, actually. And um, I think they're really interesting. They're actually very comfortable. They're more comfortable than the spider web ones I just had on. They just look so surreal. Like, to me, it kind of looks like I can't see. I think these lenses would obviously work better on somebody with darker eyes because your normal color will blend in. Um, this is what it looks like up close.
and I've never put a dark lens on my eye, like a black lens or anything. I stay away from dark colors usually, so this is also very different for me, but I kind of like it. I think it looks really creepy, and if I was artistic at all, I could come up with some awesome looks for this, but um, I really like it, and they are, they are so comfortable. I can't even feel these in my eye like I could the other ones. Not saying those other ones are bad, but the spiderweb ones, I could kind of feel a little bit irritated, this eye a little bit. Um, but sometimes it gets like that, you know, it goes away. Um, I've never really had any issues with their lenses at all. And these are like, they're not even there. These are really cool. Okay. I don't know what did the package here it is. So these are the white star. Do the black, gotta do the white. Um, the white star are striking, but they're not as striking as the black. I'm pretty sure. Um, one thing that I have noticed is that when you put them into position like that, I haven't noticed them rotating, neither pair like the cat eye ones cat eye ones will start to kind of go wonky but i have not noticed these rotating on me or the other ones um i do what the hell is going on there i do really like the way these look but i like the black ones better i'm pretty sure i'm going to do a side by side comparison in a minute so you can see um these ones the focus is on this uh the horizontal line uh, in my opinion that's the line that i see more it looks like like a loop or something. These are very unique and very different, but I I think that the black ones stand out more. But they're still pretty cool. You can still do a lot of things with them. This is what they look like up close. Here is one black and one white for comparison. I don't know which one is more striking. I think the black one is. The black one is more comfortable. The white one's kind of irritating my eye a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's a different material or what, but uh, it feels like I've got a piece of dirt in my eye. Uh, I might just need to wash my lens out a little bit better. But um, I, I like them both because I love the light lenses, but I think the dark one is more striking. So it's like this and like this. Right. These are the Crystal Edition Siesta Hollow Night. And I swore I've tried these before, but I looked on the website under the reviews and I don't see my picture or my review there. And I always make sure to review every lens that I get. So since it, sorry, whoo shit. Since it <laughs> isn't on the site, uh, that means I haven't, um, I haven't reviewed it, which I don't understand why I wouldn't have. Um, sorry, I just almost knocked everything over. Um, these, maybe I didn't review them because they're blue and I kind of started staying away from blue, but these are pretty. Um, the design is really unique. Um, you probably can't see it, but it's the strokes of the lens color is an equal mix of like pink, like a pinkish red and blue. So they're intermingled. And I think that's really, really unique. It would probably show up better on someone with brown eyes because, uh, well, maybe not. I think if you have blue eyes, the pink will show up more. And if you have brown eyes, the blue will show up more. That's, that's what I think. But, um, these are really pretty lenses. They are very natural, understated. They're not bright. Um, they're gorgeous, great coverage. Um, I just am not like a huge fan of blue and I like really tight pupil holes, but the design of this lens is what really drew me and you'll be able to see it in the picture that I post of the lens off my eye, how absolutely beautiful the design and the coloring of this lens is. Um, 
the last of the costume lenses i was actually going to leave these for last in general because these are my second favorite pair but since i'm doing costume lenses i wanted to keep them all together and these are the anime gray and i have reviewed um anime blue before which funny enough these aren't the blue these are the gray but the blue ones are i'm pretty sure they're blue they might have been purple but anyway they're purple in the middle with a blue bright blue ring like this and they are so pretty they could actually go for like a daily lens and the same goes for these i had seen these i don't know why i never tried them i think i was just wrapped up trying everything else um i'm not really a fan of costume lenses anymore so i usually overlook that section but these are so pretty i mean they've got the little anime that's supposed to go on the outside but i i have it on the inside right now um they've got the little anime design on it that uh thing you could probably see right there um but the color it's like a beautiful gray that fades into a dark blue limbo ring and i'm such a fan of the the colors like that i love the dark rings that that really attracts me i think it looks striking and gorgeous and i put these lenses on and i was like whoa those are so pretty and so these are probably my second or third favorite pair out of all of them i'm not sure if this other one might top it or not, but I'll have to remind myself in just a minute. this is my second favorite pair so it wasn't the other ones the anime it's these this is the siesta silver and these i don't know why i passed these up in the past i think because the other grays slash whites that i've tried that are not costume lenses didn't show up they didn't really change my eye color too much and i was i was kind of disappointed in them because I'm the kind of person that likes extreme change and I like it to look very different. You know, I want it to be really noticeable. If I'm wearing a lens, I want it to be able to be, wow, that's a drastic change. And the other ones, the other silvers and whites really weren't that drastic. Um, I still don't know how I overlooked these though, because the color on these as well, not only is it super bright, super vi vibrant, but when you look at the lens off of the eye, it's not just gray or silver. It's got a green, like a lime green inner, and then it fades into silver on the outside, which is super unique and super pretty. I don't know if you can see it on my dark ass eye, but um, this is what it looks like. And it is just such a nice color especially from far away i just i'm like wow these are beautiful um i might even like these more than the brown or equal to the brown the first ones i tried on but i i love these lenses so much and i'm so glad that i went back and i was like you know i haven't done anything for color cl in a while let's see what i might have missed because i've reviewed almost every lens on the site except for like the ones that i know won't change my eye color um, there's a, a series called Tint Bling that I'm trying to get a hold of, but they're always sold out because they're great lenses. I have reviewed one of the Tint Blings before, and it doesn't look like it would change your eye color, but it does, but in a supernatural way, but it's a complete mix of absolute change like this and supernatural. It's really weird, and it's kind of got sparkle to it. It's like It's a combination of everything that they have on their site in one lens, and I can't get a hold of them, but... Um, these are just fantastic. I mean, I, I bypass them so many times and, and now I'm sitting here kicking myself because look at these things. These are gorgeous. And color CL is still my number one, number one. Nobody's knocked them out of the park yet. And I don't think anybody ever will. These are quality right up there with, um, oh my gosh, who is that? <laughs> There's a company that I was buying from that I was paying a lot of money for for the Solotica lenses um lens.me they're up there with lens.me 
as far as quality, comfort, and everything goes. I mean, obviously, they're probably not made the same because the price point is super different. But these feel just as good as, as those do. And they cover even better. Um, they ha they're great dupes for Solotica to start with. And they have a huge variety. So just, I mean, I love them. I love them. Uh, not too huge of a fan of most of the color play, but that's color play I've seen around. That's not a color CL brand. I don't think, I think it's just a generic costume lens company thing. Um, some of them are cool. Some of them are not as, you know, typical, but the color CL, their own stuff is great. <laughs> so, um, until next time, I need to put together some of these other videos, get them out there. I've, I've got so much stuff that I've made. I'm just the, you know, but, um, I will definitely get back in touch. I will see you guys soon. Do you have a favorite? I know some of you guys have been ordering from Moco Queen. Um, let me know how that went. Uh, do you have a favorite from there? How did your ordering go? Did everything work out fine? Just so you guys know, I would never share contact lenses or a company that I think is screwy or a scam or has crappy lenses unless I tell you, by the way, stay away from this company. By the way, <laughs> these lenses are crap. I did that with, um, Miss Lens. I think it was Miss Lens. Their lenses hurt so much and they were really, really uncomfortable. They were super thick. Didn't look anything like the picture. Uh, I'd be afraid to lose my eyesight wearing their lenses, you know, but I will tell you the truth. If I like it, I will show you guys so you can judge for yourself. You can turn the audio off and just look at it and know if it's a good looking lens or not. And, um, just know that, you know, if I've recommended something to you, it's because I believe in it myself and I support them. So please don't have any fear. There's some comments on one of my other videos wondering if one of the companies, not this one, but another company was legit or not. And, um, I did order, I've ordered for them, no problem. And I've never had an issue, never heard of an issue. And when a customer had a question or one of my subscribers had a question, I went to them, got an answer and it was just, you know, everything was fine. So don't worry about that. I wouldn't just be like, try this, try that. And then watch you guys get ripped off or screwed over. So that's cool. All right. And I will see you guys next time. Remember, shoot me some questions and I will be back at some point when I have enough and I will answer them.